guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be doing the last of my three parts of my bookshelf tour um, and this is going to be all of my adult fiction. A warning, this is going to be a long video, please get a cup of tea or a biscuit or Easter chocolate or something to munch on um, whilst I'm running through this with you because there are a fair amount of books. That said, I hope you enjoy it and let me know in the comments if there are any books you're particularly interested in, anything you want to know more about and I'll be more than happy to oblige. So just a quick caveat before I do run through them all, um, these are all books that I have read, um, I don't have all that many books on a TBR so I don't have a TBR shelf as such, um, so I have actually read all of the books that I'm going to talk about. Okay so this is my first bookshelf, sorry if it's a bit shaky I'm having to do it by hand, all the way down there. And then these ones just here are the rest of my adult fiction. Okay, so just given the height of the thing, I'm going to display them all here for you. Much easier than trying to do it by hand for the first three shelves. So the first adult fiction I have is a short story collection, The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie. Three novels by Cesar Ayra. Times Arrow by Martin Amis. I, Robot by Isaac Asimov. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. The Death of Eli Gold by David Baddiel. The Sea by John Banville. The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes, Young Skins, Stories by Colin Barrett, Essays in Love by Alan de Buton, The Dumb House by John Burnside, The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, The Bear by Claire Cameron, The Girl with All the Gifts by M. L. Carey. So this one should really be in my non-fiction, but it isn't, so we're just going to have to deal with that, and that's Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. And then we have The Priestess of the White and The Last of the Wilds by Trudy Canavan, The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. Wonder Boys, which has a brilliant coffee stain on it, by Michael Chabon. Papillon by Henri Chaurier. Revenge of the Mooncake Vixen by Marilyn Chin. Reasons She Goes to the Woods by Deborah K. Davies. And Kolomsky Heights by Lionel Davidson. And then moving on to shelf number two, I first have The House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielowski. The Familiar Volume 1, One Rainy Day in May by Mark Z. Danielowski. And The Familiar Volume 2, Into the Forest by Mark Z. Danielowski. The Enchanted by Rennie Denfeld. White Noise by Don DeLilio, The Devil's Garden by Edward Docks, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dyer, Room by Emma Donoghue, The Moment by Claire Dyer, American Psycho by Brent Easton Ellis, The Rose City by David Evershoff, Salvage by Robert Edrick, The Circle by Dave Eggers, Your Fathers Where Are They and The Prophets Do They Live Forever by Dave Eggers, The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides, Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, and The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. And then onto the third shelf we have Alone in Berlin by Hans Falader, Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford, The Shock of the Fool by Nathan Filer, Welcome to Night Vale, a novel by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner, The Drown Life by Jeffrey Ford, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Our Endless Number of Days by Claire Fuller, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, Jellyfish by Janice Galloway, The Girl by Samantha Gamer, Gravity by Tess Gerritsen, The Box by Gunther Grass, The Magicians by Lev Grossman, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, The Humans by Matt Haig, and Surface Rights by Melissa Hardy. And then moving on to shelf number four, first we have The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris, Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, Hannibal by Thomas Harris, The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, Horror Store by Grady Hendrix, Manhattan Mayhem, edited by Mary Higgins Clark. Barbara the Slut and Other People by Lauren Holmes. Wool, Shift and Dust by Hugh Hammy. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Isiguri. The Snow Child by Arian Ivey. American Elsewhere by Robert Jackson Bennett. The Dig by Simon Jones. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce. The First Bad Man, a novel by Miranda July. No One Belongs Here More Than You, stories by Miranda July. Human Acts by Han Kang. And Cherry by Mary Carr. The Room by Jonas Carlson. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. You by Carolyn Kepnes. And then what I only think can be described as a shit ton of Stephen King. Got QJ. The Tommy Knockers. Different Seasons. Salem's Lot. Pet Cemetery. It. Misery. And On Writing, which really should be in non-fiction again, but I like having it with the other Stephen Kings. Redeployment by Phil Clay. The Lowland by Jim Polari. The Deaths by Mark Lawson. A very battered edition of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And The Grace Keepers by Kirsty Logan. And then the final shelf on this case, we have The Best of All Possible Worlds by Karen Lord. Satin Island by Tom McCarthy. Descent by Ken McLeod. 
Wittgenstein's Mistress by David Markson, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords Part 1, Steel and Snow, A Storm of Swords Part 2, Blood and Gold, and A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. Sea Lovers by Valerie Martin, A Girl as a Half-Formed Thing by Emma McBride, The Children Act by Ian McEwan, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monkkid, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, Astonishing Splashes of Colour by Claire Morrell, After Dark by Hiroki Murakami, Norwegian Wood by Hiroki Murakami, Sputnik Sweetheart by Hiroki Murakami, and The Strange Library by Hiroki Murakami, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, For Adults Only by Beverly Nichols, and then finally for this case I've got Anis Nin's Henry and June. And then back over with the fish again, I'm going to do the last three shelves of adult fiction. Girl at War by Sarah Novick, 1984 by George Orwell, Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk, The Bees by Laleen Paul, Night Film by Marissa Pessel, Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marissa Pessel, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter, Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, Very Good Lives, another one that's crept its way into the fiction by J.K. Rowling, St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves by Karen Russell, Vampires in the Lemon Grove by Karen Russell, and finally for the shelf I have Blindness by Jose Saramago. The Power of the Dog by Thomas Savage. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Hamlet by William Shakespeare. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, which ought to be in way. <laughs> the Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. Ali Smith, How to Be Both. Ali Smith's Public Library and Other Stories. Child 44 by Tom Rob Smith. Wrecked by Charlotte Roche. The Great Zoo of China by Matthew Riley. The Catcher in the Rye by Jodie Salinger. And Franny and Zooey. By J.D. Salinger. Farm by Tom Rob Smith, which somehow I've managed to alphabetize differently twice. Northwest by J.D. Smith. On Beauty by J.D. Smith. The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steadman. Canary Row by John Steinbeck. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. And Vector by Henry Sutton. We're on the very last shelf now. So firstly we have The Little Friend by Donna Tart. The Secret History by Donna Tart. Theo by Ed Taylor. The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. The Weightless World by Anthony Trevilan, A Spool of Blue Thread by Anne Tyler, The Martian by Andy Weir, The Invisible Man and The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, Birdie by William Wharton, Shrapnel by William Wharton, Weathering by Lucy Wood, Orlando by Virginia Woolf, and The Waves by Virginia Woolf, The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham, The Midwich Cookies by John Wyndham, A Little Life by Hanya Yangahara, Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto, Green Girl by Kate Sambrino, and finally The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And I almost forgot my Rhodes um, Classics editions that I keep in this little kind of antique birdcage thing. So just quickly I have To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, The Trial by Franz Kafka, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Walden by Henry David Thoreau, Notes from Underground by Fyodor Dotazewski, and finally The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So that is my adult fiction collection. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I really do like doing them but it was a lot of talking to do this time and a fair amount of editing. Um, but let me know if you have any recommendations um, for anything else I should add to, any authors that you've seen that you think gosh that book you know isn't the best that they've written, try something else by them. Love to know what you guys think. Alright I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.